So if you do a gold lake, have you got any new conversation points? Ah, defense request, there we go. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edge's case? Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. If you defend him and lost, your reputation will be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be fair to have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai. Miss Treadworth helps you get your client declared innocent. He did. That was the last case. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over again. He just sat in the corner going, right, right, right. <laughs> I'll get him one of these days. Why, I order. Dick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why would he want your help? I don't get it. Does it come through, sir? What? Find something? Uh, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want me to ask me about before you head back? Uh, autopsy report is always a good thing to ask about. Well, yes, you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked on the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually. <coughs> so, <coughs> if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. <coughs> You're not coming back, detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So what should you do if you have something to talk to you about? He said, go to the precinct. <laughs> Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. The detective Gumshoe gave you directions to the police station. Oh, hey, detective Gumshoe. What? Uh, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can you walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You have you got my permission. Because we're helping Edgeworth. We're on Edgeworth's side here. He usually works with the prosecution, doesn't he? Well, I guess he's just breaking protocol all over the place. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get investigating. Okay, I guess we can either head further into the Gold Lake, or we can now go to the police station. Also, we got we got ourselves a few different options here. Uh, I'm gonna head into. You know what? Let's go to the police station. We might as well explore there. Why not? December 25th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Uh, ellipses. <laughs> Looks like Detective Goshu isn't here. Something wrong, miss. Of turning yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? <laughs> That's a, okay, okay, the police in this, uh, in this particular society are a little bit on the jumpy side. No, none of those things. We're looking for Detective Goshu. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh yeah, he's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, I'll come back. You do that. Oh, go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? <laughs> no more shoplifting. <laughs> do I like a criminal or something? Only a little bit. Alright, well that's this place uh, investigated. That was a very useful investigation. What are you talking about? And now we shall head further into God Lake. Gold Lake Public Beach. December 25th, Gold Lake Public Beach. <laughs> Pretty much exactly what I just said. Wowzers, this is Gold Lake? Yup. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers though. Oh, probably not. But hey, look at that snack sa stand. Samurai dogs in orange text? I want a samurai dog! Please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times though. Oh my god, are we gonna get the samurai steel samurai theme tune? The kids roll into the prink prin princess in orange text now. I mean like, you know? <laughs> nope. <laughs> not at all. Oh, we're not gonna get the steel samurai theme yet. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna get it at some point in this uh in this chapter though. What's this? Huh, someone left one of those poppers here. You know you pull the string? And it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see the blood around New Year's. Hey, Nick, it might be a clue. Let's take it. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? <laughs> are, they, are, they not, are they unpopped poppers? A popper. Let's take it. 
Because even if it's not useful evidence, even if it is a complete waste of time, we're cleaning up the environment one pot one party popper at a time. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. <laughs> okay then. Popper put in pocket. Peter Piper picked up a pocket a popper from the floor and put it in pocket. Awesome leather. Anyway What else do we have? We have been over here. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. The trash can is empty and yet there are poppers all over the floor. <sighs> What's going on with the with the user today, eh? Wow, Gold Lake is really big. Yeah. Say Nick, why is it called Gold Lake? Oh. <laughs> well a long time ago they used to grow gold here. Whoa! That's amazing! I'd never have been able to figure that out from the name. I'm sure because it's like, like gold from with, with view from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like gold, actually. But that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a double gold lake. Truly amazing. Wow, that stand is so Christmassy. <laughs> a hot dog stand, it's closed. The Christmas fridge looks a little half baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Someone needs to redecorate. <laughs> ah, I wonder who that is. I wonder who uh, who would own a stand like this. Oh, I was just going to just continue uh, talking about the stand. Is there anywhere else we can go from here? I think I've investigated the place sufficiently. We could go to the woods or the rental shop. Wow, there's quite a few. There's quite a few places. Let's go to the woods. The twenty fifth Gold Lake Woods. This doesn't really look like wood, the woods. It looks more like the the beach, but whatever. <laughs> I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. A murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Oh, is there actually someone here? <laughs> nope, there is no one here at all. But we can investigate some of this uh, wonderful sound equipment over here. Wow. That, 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 like, is that a microphone boom? Not entirely sure. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. Yeah, I guess it is a microphone. A very crazy, intricate, over-the-top microphone. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick! <laughs> Ellipses. Make sure I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Ellipses. Huh. <laughs> well, you stop that. Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it's that's to response to voices. Oh, the party poppers! Oh my god, is she actually gonna... And the camera... And the camera went crazy! <laughs> well done, man, you broke it. Yep, it responded! <laughs> yeah! Hey you, get your hands off of that! Eek! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you done now! There goes a the whole roll of film! Huh? What? Huh? Sorry! Sorry's nice, but don't pay my bills! You know how much a roll of that film costs? Uh, I'll pay you back. What we all think is set off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, <laughs> a place like this? It's your, it's your equipment. We just happen to be here, you know, we just happen to be casual tourists happening to just set off a party popper. If you've set your equipment to record at the slightest noise, that's your own problem, I think. Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why they must be dumb? Well, let me tell you, just because I, I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. <laughs> just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. Nick, help! And who are you now, a chaperone? Uh, <laughs> yes, no, um, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Just figure out what y'all are gonna say for safe for Jesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws and still listen to you stutter all day. <laughs> oh boy. I guess you pay her for the film. No, we shouldn't! She's the one that set up the equipment. We just happen to be setting up party robbers. Don't be bullied, Phoenix. Don't be bullied. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. I'll take a thought, so I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Aww. We we messed up our equipment. Is there anything else we can investigate over here though? Just while I just while I was in the middle of kind of investigating stuff. Hey Nick! What, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no! I was just wondering why are camping pots and pants made out of aluminium? Uh, sorry, aluminium. I forgot. It's a, uh, it's a, it's just the American game, American localization, of course. Ellipses. They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. <laughs> so there's no law saying that's made out of aluminium then. 
sorry, aluminum men. I'm not having this conversation. Uh, alright. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. What does the sign say? The sign says, no camping, in orange text. Wow, that is rebellious. That That is just... That is just all kinds of rebel right there. Rebel without a cause. Find a place to pick to pitch your tent. <laughs> Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? <laughs> I don't know, Maya. What if the sign did say no setting tents on fire? What then? <laughs> what, what? Where did that... Where did that even come from? <laughs> I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Uh, and the... Uh, the SUV. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Alright, well that was fun. I guess now we shall talk to... Uh, do we know her name yet? No, we don't know her name yet. Okay. Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film by camera here? Someone, I'm not naming epidemic names, but someone used up a whole roll. That's your problem. We only, made, we only did one pop. Just because you have this camera set to use up the whole roll when there's a single pop does not make it our fault. I refuse to take responsibility. I refuse to take responsibility. Maya, you have nothing to be sorry about. No, I'm not, I'm not even voice acting that. You have nothing to be sorry about. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. I guess you're going to say the same thing when I say your name. Oh. What? Can I see I've changed the film my camera here? <laughs> yeah, that's just exactly the same thing. And it takes you a very long time to change the fil to the roll on your camera, doesn't it? A very long time indeed. Do I have anything that I could present you with, though? My attorney's badge, maybe? <laughs> I, uh, this is my badge. Oh, apparently this is gonna work. Huh? Our badge is supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Uh, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now? Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things at you! The music's gone ominously quiet. <laughs> no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Ellipses? Sounds cool! Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You two, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. <laughs> Did Maya, Maya's run off and hid. Uh, fair enough. Maya. Maya. <laughs> Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if, uh, if it pleases you. <laughs> Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lana. Lana Hart, but y'all can call me Lana. I'm here photographing media showers for a research project. Maya, pleased to meet you. I'm guessing she would have a. I'm guessing the original game she would have an Osaka accent. <laughs> that, that tends to be the usual one that gets, uh,. Transcribed over to a kind of southern accent. So what happened then, Lotta? Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve? A man a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. Do you have pictures? Photographic evidence? I see enough boats to choke a mule. Kind of hard to remember which I see when. It was last night. Your memory is terrible. So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Count Country U. Right in the heart of the heartland. Country U. <laughs> country University in the heart of the country. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at university. Country U. Uh, yeah, I, I heard. I'm, I'm here. I'm part of the conversation, Maya. <laughs> so when did you come up here? Oh, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Did I tell you all that already? Meteors! Yeah, meteor showers! Why is your camera pointed at the lake then? Look behind her. Look at that camera. That is pointing across the lake. That is not pointing up. Falling stars. Alright, the camera! That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it! It's a German made! A genuine Sullingen! Is that where they make knives? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it is though. Um, 
So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? I think it's a microphone. It started moving all by, myself, all by itself when I found my party pop up. Oh, that? That triggers the shadow whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. So, wait, she's trying to take pictures of meteors, so she has it rigged up to take pictures when there are noises. Meteors, unless they land directly on the planet, don't tend to make noise. I don't know. <laughs> A program on camera, neat! Let us camera added to the court record. Either way, I'm pretty sure that gunshots will probably have triggered it. I could do with getting that film, but I don't know how to do that. Because she is done being useful. She's We've exhausted all her things. Let's just head back to the public beach and head to the boat rental shop. The very last new area that we've got to explore. December 25th, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Didn't you read the description when we came here? Gee, can't you read that huge sign on top that says boat rental? Well, you're standing in front of it, so it says tea rentals, but you know. I'm pretty sure it says boat rentals. <laughs> Close to Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats wouldn't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Because, you know, the first thing you do when, when you hear about a murder is instantly blame the person that hired out the boat. I mean, that's just basic, uh, that's just basic lawyering. Really? Well, how about we go home after when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea! You bet! Okay, boat rentals! Is there anything we can investigate around here? Because if not, then I'm not entirely sure where we need to go. There's a boat floating in the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick! Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Okay, fair enough. Boat rentals. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Doesn't look like we can actually uh, investigate anything here. That's unfortunate. So basically, I have absolutely no idea where to go at this point. Uh, I could probably do with, like, investigating something or finding someone. I mean, I, the, we, we, we have a lack of inventory stuff at the moment. So I'll definitely talk to you about everything. I'm going to try presenting my attorney's badge again. Oh wait, I've got the camera! Ah, of course, I'm going to present the camera then. Lada? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises in, in orange text? Uh, yep, only if there are orange text! Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol in orange text. A pistol? Right, now, would a gunshot make a similar noise to a party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Ellipses! <laughs> hey! Y'all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying! Tell you what, I'm gonna have a look-see at my film! It would've been a photo taken late last night. I checked it once, don't remember if I, there was anything on them though. But what if I got something? That could be a witness to a genuine murder! Yeehaw! I'll go check that film! Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay! <laughs> and turn to the right, and then turn to the left, and suddenly Maya! <laughs> She went inside her SUV. I guess she'll come back later. Oh, so she's done for now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the internet. <laughs> 